सो हाई गाइज वेलकम टू योर पीडिया एजुकेशन तो यार इस वीडियो में मैं डिस्कशन करूंगा कुछ अपॉर्चुनिटीज़ के बारे में जो कि रिलीज की गई है बार की तरफ से भाभा एटॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर सो देर आर डिफरेंट कैटेगरी ऑफ पोस्ट द वेरी फर्स्ट इज टेक्निकल ऑफिसर सी सेकेंड वन इज साइंटिफिक असिस्टेंट बी एंड थर्ड वन इज टेक्नीशियन बी एंड देन अंडर ट्रेनिंग स्कीम दे हैव रिलीज सम वैकेंसी दैट इज फॉर स्टेपेंडरी ट्रेनिंग तो सी दिस टाइपेंडरी ट्रेनिंग पोजिशन इज वेरी कॉमन स्पेशली फॉर द डिप्लोमा स्टूडेंट राइट एंड दिस इज वन ऑफ द यू नो इजिएस्ट मोड और एंट्री टू एंटर द प्रिस्टिजियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन लाइक बार्क सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस इन डिटेल वॉट आर द मोड ऑफ सेलेक्शन वॉट आर द डिफरेंट राउंड ऑफ सेलेक्शन सो इफ वी टॉक अबाउट टेक्निकल ऑफिसर सी टोटल नंबर ऑफ वैकेंसी दे हैव रिलीज वन एटी वन एंड द ग्रुप ए क्लासिफिकेशन जॉब एंड योर पे लेवल विल बी लेवल टेन and obviously the entry pay for these all scientific organization 56100 so subsequently you can see the pay band entry level and classification for scientific assistant and technician post also and down in the section under training scheme they have released type entry trainee post for that your first year stipend and second year stipend is also there see if you want to join some research organization like bar isro drdo for permanent position so these experiences which you will be getting here under the stipendary training they you know make very big difference in your academic profile while applying for these position later on so don't miss this opportunity now in detail notification related to technical officer c there are different discipline be it from chemistry be it from physics architecture chemical civil drilling electrical electronics instrumentation mechanical metallurgy mining you all are eligible and you can see the categorization of the vacancy as per the category section it's clearly mentioned here and they have put some minimum prerequisite that is you must have a degree with minimum 60% marks and if we talk about the bioscience life science biochemistry microbiology biotechnology you must hold MSc in Bioscience, Life Science, Biochemistry, Microbiology, and if we talk about Chemistry, then MSc in Chemistry. If we talk about Chemical, Civil, then Bachelor in Chemical and Civil. If we talk about the Computer Science, then Bachelor in Computer Science or you know other its allied branches. If we talk about Drilling, your BTEC should be in the Mechanical or Drilling. If we talk about Electrical Electronics, your BTEC should be in the Electrical and Electronics Engineering. So these are the various prerequisite required for these different discipline under the. post of technical officer for which we have total 181 number of vacancy the very important point for the student here is what is the mode of selection for technical officer see they have written they will be directly sort listing the candidate for the interview round but that is also under some constraint usually in the past we have seen they used to sort list the candidate in the ratio of 1 ratio 7 let us suppose if they have 10 vacancy they will be sort listing 70 student but here if you can see 181 number of vacancies are there if you multiply it with 7 the number goes you know above 1000 so obviously if the number of applicant who are filling and who are applying for this position that goes beyond a very big number then they will be conducting some computer based screening test so that is basically conditional clause there otherwise your direct sort listing will be on your academic performance basis and you need to start preparing for the interview as of now because you know the interview preparation for the scientific organization is very different as compared to other psu the level of question the depth of question i had made one separate video how to prepare the bark interview how to utilize your technical knowledge and at what up to what depth you need to you know dive into technical subjects so that is very important you know one of the key point which you need to focus if you are targeting this technical officer position apart from this if i talk about the next next one is that is for this scientific assistant for scientific assistant you can see there are few discipline like food technology home science and nutrition also they are asking the bsc the number of vacancy you can see here and then technician that is for boiler attendant they have put some constraint as per the prerequisite you can clearly see here apart from this the very important segment for diploma student that is stipendary trainee they have made two category the category 1 under category 1 they have mentioned some discipline with number of vacancies and requirement you must have bsc if we talk about the engineering then you must have a diploma so this is very important opportunity for all the diploma student and if we talk about the second category the second category is this one 
So fitter, you have turner, you have welder, you have mechanic, you have electrician, you have electronic mechanic, you have, you know, all second category stipendary training are for this position, this discipline with these prerequisites, right? So you can see number of vacancies here and this PDF is available officially on the website or you can find this PDF in the comment section. I will pin this in the comment section. So now the very important point is, sir, what are the selection procedure, how the selection will be done and what is the age limit? The age limit for the technical officer C is 35, scientific assistant is 30 and for technician it's 25. So these are the age limit and there are many other information which they have mentioned that is related to exam. In technical officer selection will be on the basis of performance in the interview as I told you in the beginning. Usually they used to conduct interview only. If the number of candidate increases then they can put one more stage there. They can ask you for the shortlist according to that they will be shortlisting you people and then second is scientific assistant B that is and category 1 stipendary trainee because for category 1 stipendary trainee the eligibility criteria was diploma only and if you talk about the scientific assistant the eligibility criteria was diploma only so for them they have clearly told they will be conducting one exam computer based screening test of one hour duration will be conducted on all India basis and will comprise of 40 MCQ there will be four choices and three marks will be awarded for the each correct question and there will be negative marking. The syllabus for the said examination will be based on the subject at diploma BSc level as the case may be. Those candidates qualifying in the screening test shall be shortlisted for interview. The venue of the interview will be intimated later. You will be told about the venue. Final selection will be on the basis of the performance of the candidate in the interview only. There is no weightage given for the screening test. See, screening test means they are just limiting the number of candidate on the basis of their performance for the next stage so that they can carry out the interview process very effectively. But the final selection will be purely on the basis of your performance in the interview. Now, if I talk about technician B, category 2 stipendary trainee, they have mentioned many subsequent stages. First is the preliminary test, second is the advanced test, third is the skill test. That all communication team, your PDF will be doing with you, what all will be covered in the advanced test, what all will be covered in the skill test. And apart from that, they have given for stage 1 preliminary test, they will be asking question, 50 MCQ question and one hour duration will be there and question will be from mathematics, science and general awareness and these are the number of questions they will be asking. Is it clear? So guys, this is the information as of now for this and this is the application fee, what you need to pay. And if we talk about the deadline, I have told you earlier about the deadline. The deadline is closing date and time for the receipt of online application is 22nd of May. So this is the opportunity for the different posts from the Baba Atomic Research Center. So if you are looking, you are preparing, you have invested a lot of time in preparation of the competitive job, your long term vision is to serve any of the research organization and contribute to your country, then this is one of the very prestigious and golden opportunity for all you students, right? So don't miss to apply for this position and start preparing for interview as soon as possible with Team Your Pedia. We wish you all the best for this position. Thank you. Thank you.